Hello and welcome to Biocode. In this video, we will see how we can utilize Entrust module within BioPython package that allows us to connect to NCBI database to retrieve various amount of from various sort of information in various amount of factors. So, uh, Entrust is a search engine as just like Google or Bing or any other search engine that allows us to search data sets within NCBI databases. So if you have uh, ever worked with NCBI, you would know there is a search bar that allows you to, uh, that allows you to search for anything within NCBI databases. So uh, that is that search engine or that search bar is usually known as entries and that uh, that basically puts your query against the entire NCBI database and then just fetches out the information that is uh, related to your query. For example, cancer genomics for the PubMed or EBA for the gene, something like that. So uh, in this scenario, we are going to utilize entries, uh, connect, we are going to connect to entries through Python and uh, to do that we are going to utilize the enter entries module within BioPython package. And there are some reasons why why we need to do that because uh, in sometimes when you are working with a huge amount of data sets and then when you are when when you need to retrieve huge amount of data sets, you can't do that manually through NCBI browser uh, through a browser system or manually clicking around. You you just need to write a particular script and then you can retrieve huge amount of data set within a few seconds, a few minutes, or a few hours as compared to a few days or few hours if you uh, do that manually. So in that scenario, Enter is most useful and this is the most important module of BioPython and uh, it is heavily util utilized. So th in this video, we are just going to introduce you to uh, BioEntrus and uh, what really uh, we can accomplish with it. First of all, uh, there, is a, uh, there is a warning that I'm going to provide you that you always need to provide in your email address. For example, just import um, Entrance from Bio and then uh, there is a there is a variable that that you need to declare before you actually uh, put forward your query against enters data sets and you also need internet connection for this so it it cannot work without the internet obviously because we are co connected to the internet to retrieve the data and send information so anyways uh, the information is basically the query that you want that is the information that will be sent to the enters data sets and then information will be returning back to your computer so just provide the actual email address you should not and you should never Im implement any email address that is not yours because in case uh, enters allows you to do query within a uh, single query within three seconds so if you are m doing multiple queries and uh, repeated queries and ncpi will contact you on this email and they will ask you to uh, they will politely ask you to uh, not do that again or in some cases if you are breaching their policy or something like that they will contact you if you are actually going to put some fake email over here it is it is not it is it is unethical to do that so always 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 enter your email address and this was my uh, opportunity and this was my warning to you all because of the fact that it is unethical from a research standpoint anyways moving on uh, basically, in this video, we are going to see what sort of databases can we connect to through Enters module within BioPython. To do that, we are going to utilize the eInfo function. eInfo function will will find out all the all the databases that are uh, available within Enters that we can connect through Enters module. And to do that, we are going to call the eInfo function of Enters module by utilizing the dot operator and then we are storing the returned results as soon as this function runs some results will come back and we need to store that in a variable just like we saw in the module video in the previous videos that when something is returning from a function we need to catch it and store it in, in a variable so we are declaring a handle variable and th then once we have received the results back from NCBI databases we are now reading it through a read function of entrance not the read function of python but the entrance itself entrance has its own read function and we are passing the handle directly to the read function and then storing it in the record and then we are printing it out this information will just be about what sort of databases can we connect to and how we can connect to will be following in the next video so i'm just going to run this code and now we will see a particular set of list database list as you can see this is um, by the way this is a dictionary and this dictionary contains a list of databases that we can access uh, from entrance module within python 
So that includes PubMed, Protein, uh, Nucor, IPJ, Nucleotide. These are all databases of NCBI. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to open up a new browser. We are going to open this up. And then we will see that there are various. This is just a random image, by the way. As you can see, these are all the databases that we can search against within NCBI. And this is the entrance, entrance bar. For example, Protein. For example, let's, let's just do something like this, Clean bar. So let's find out if there is clean water available over here and there we go, clean water is available over here. So the same searching uh, ability is available through Py by Python as well and just on the like on the browser. So for example, if we see genome, we will see, do we see genome, right? We will see genome over here, there we go. So these are, these are all the databases that we can connect to. So let's suppose that you would like to and you would like to find information about just a single database just provide db then do genome so G db is a, a parameter that basically if you would like to p f find out a particular information about a particular data database just put that name within db and now we will only retrieve information related to genome database and there we go so this is all the information about uh, genome database uh, what is the description how many how many information how much information is available how many genomes are available that sort of information is available and it should uh, you should always make such kind of query if it is related to your work otherwise you will not be able to understand such kind of queries anyways uh, another own information that we can this is just an introduction you don't need to worry about uh, any of this if you are not understanding it. So I'm just going to make it combined so that there's no point. Anyways, I'm going to do a particular uh, search. You will not understand this right now, but you will understand it later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this particular query and this query, what will this query accomplish is that we are utilizing e-search function. It has many functions and they are utilized for various